Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio tutorial that will show you how you can remove grass from your terrain or how you can edit your terrain so it, the grass is removed. So as you can see, I have here a terrain that already has the grass with its kind of embedded effect. And let's say that I want to, for example, add a part to it and I'm going to get this effect. The same grass is kind of pushing through the same part. So even if I move it, there are still elements of that grass going through. So we have several options at our disposal. We're going to first of all go into our terrain editor. So we're going to change this to editor and then under edit we're going to go for paint. So you have your paint options here. And first kind of move would be to choose something that is basically a flat surface. So instead of grass, let's go for example for, let's say ground. And then by placing it, we basically remove grass around this element. We can also do that with our other options. We can change the brush size, of course, but we can yeah, add other elements that basically remove grass as is. So we can kind of purposefully change the terrain where we wanted to have it. For example, we can set a paint stone or anything else. And this will again remove the grass. Lastly, if we want to remove the grass in its entirety over the whole terrain, we can simply go to our Explorer. In our workspace, we have the terrain and once we have it selected, we can go into the properties and under appearance, we have the decoration option. Once we turn it off, the grass itself will be gone. We'll just have this kind of 2D flat surface that emulates grassy terrain in general, but without the decoration, which is actually the blades of grass. So there we have it, several options that are just as effective. Each of them will remove the grass the question is if you want to do it locally or if you want to do it across your complete terrain. There you have it, quick, easy, simple. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider supporting me through a range of means. You can check out my Patreon page. You can check out my channel memberships. You can check out my books on Amazon. Links to all of that are below the video. But of course, the cheapest, fastest, easiest way to support me, just subscribe to my video, just subscribe to my channel, check out my other Roblox Studio videos and be here for my new tutorials. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thanks a lot for watching. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you on my new tutorial. Until then, bye bye.